In this video, I'm going to show you one of the glitchiest routes in Madden 23 and how you can use this to bomb uh, coverages, specifically cover four and cover two. This can also bomb other coverages as well. And we're going to be showing it to you out of our U-Trips offensive uh, offense. And if you're new to the, to the channel or you haven't gotten the U-Trips offensive ebook, make sure you join our Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up, get you full access to all of our Madden uh, 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. And we just dropped this U trips uh, yesterday. It's really a glitchy and very effective offense, specifically against man to man coverage. Uh, but for today, we're going to show you something that you can do against zone coverage uh, that is really, 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 really effective. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start this off with a bang. We're going to go out into the cover four drop. Now, I do have match coverage on for zone because it does actually make the zones play better. Um, and what you're going to see is um, cover four drop is still a spot drop zone coverage, right? It's not necessarily a match coverage. Here's my basic setup here, just block the running back. We're gonna put the left side slot on a flat, and then we're gonna put this guy on the in route. Very simple, right? We're basically running Y cross. Uh, but what you'll see with this fade route is sometimes we'll get this really glitchy animation where he'll kind of bump into him, and you can throw the ball over the top of cover four drop. These glitchy fades are the best route in the game for bombing pretty much every coverage there. Uh, I'm able to bomb cover four with this fairly consistently. I get that bump fairly consistently, as you can see, and we're able to get over the top for a one play touchdown. Now, not only are we able to get over the top for a one play touchdown against cover four, um, but if it is cover two, you will see here that a lot of times, once he gets outside of that rub, you can throw this with an outside pass lead because it's fading to the outside. Now this is a free form kind of deal. You do need to free form this because of just how important the pass lead is. I will say with cover two, um, the best policy would be to take this right side slot and just motion him over. And what you'll see is now uh, my receiver won't get rubbed and he won't get matched by any cover two zone. And once he turns around, he's gonna have a step on that guy to the sideline. Um, so very glitchy little route combo and very glitchy little play for zone coverage. It's able to break down zone coverage so good. Now we show you in the ebook um, how this can be really effective um, against the current man-to-man -man meta and how you can really uh, kind of build around this play as your foundation. I think this is one of the best passing plays in the entire game. So we're able to bomb cover four and we're able to bomb cover two. Now cover three can sometimes be a little bit of a pain, but a lot of times you can bomb cover three as well. Again, with motioning this guy across, you're gonna see here that we can actually kind of get this out here and the seam, and sometimes we can get this over the top. I will say cover three, honestly, which is surprising to me, uh, cover three actually defends this probably the best with the route combo that I'm showing you in this video. In the ebook, we have bombs for every single coverage in this game, including the cover three, of course. Um, but you'll see here, if for whatever reason that's covered, you can just take your tight end post across the middle. Now this tight end post route, um, Kyle Rudolph's gonna do this route a little bit of a disservice, but if you have, if they do call man to man, that first concept that I showed you, um, this tight end post is normally one of the better man beaters uh, in the game. And again, like I said, the Kyle Rudolph's gonna do it a little bit of a disservice. If you put uh, a receiver there with an ability, that is going to really, really help. So they're gonna probably put zones over the top, right? To kind of help with the fact that they're getting bombed every play out of this fade route. So now we have Kyle Rudolph coming on that little post over the middle. And then of course we've got our slant. Um, now you could, if you wanted to, let's say you're, you're thinking it might be man coverage, you can smart route this in route. And what you'll see is when we smart route the in route, a lot of times you can throw this right on the cut right there and it can beat man for you. So you do have man beaters built into this play, of course, and you can actually make more man beaters. This route to Jones is actually one of the best man beating routes in the game, um, specifically if they, you know, if we motion this over. So you see here, motion over, and sometimes we'll get really glitchy rubs with this um, as well. But if it's not there, then I can just take that route to Jones. Of course, um, Murphy Buntley is gonna break it up, but I'm telling you with short and elite on that guy, 
um, you can take that in route very consistently, right? Very, very consistently. So, you know, I have this route to Jones. I have the route to the tight end. And then I've also got this really, really, really glitchy fade route um, that, as you see right here, actually gets over the top. I just got to get the ball a little bit over the top there, throw it a little bit earlier. But I will say this fade route a, a lot of times um, is is wide open. It will run wide open up the seam against any coverage. Um, it doesn't matter if it's man. It doesn't matter if it's zone. You know, you always want to look at this fade route at the snap. And then if that's not there, then we can, you know, take our in route or take our post route on the backside. Guys, I want to thank you for watching this video. And if you enjoyed the video, I want to encourage you to check out our Patreon. I just dropped that U-Trips offensive ebook, and I do believe that it's going to significantly help with the man coverage meta. It's going to force teams to play zone. And then if they do play zone, we have stuff like this that is going to bomb zone for a one play touchdown pretty much every single time, regardless of the coverage. Um, and then we have a lot of other stuff in the ebook as well. So if you want to check that out, uh, we've got over 62 offensive players. Uh, plays broken down in this ebook for you guys so tons of hours of film we have a full film room where we show you how to actually run the scheme so if you want to check that out link is in the description to sign up for the patreon it's only 10 bucks to sign up so head on down to the description and hopefully we will see you guys over at the patreon page